guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see the minimum add to make parenthesis valid problem which is from lead code number 921 let's now look at the problem statement in this problem a parenthesis string is valid if and only if it is then empty string or it can be written as a b where a concatenated with b uh, are actually forming a valid string or it can be written as just a single character a and that can be bracketized to make it a valid string so you are given a parenthesis string s in one move you can insert a parenthesis at any position of the string you are given an example here we need to return the minimum number of moves required to make s valid now let's look at an example for better understanding let's say that uh, this is our given string and in this case our goal is to make the parenthesis valid with minimum operation if it is already valid like this one it is already valid in this case we do not need to do any operation and our answer will be zero the operation allowed in this case is one operation is equals to one bracket insert okay and we cannot do anything else so given this string is this valid this is not valid you can see that there is an overbalancing of a closing bracket so you need to add an opening bracket to the left side so if you add it in the beginning it can become valid and the number of operations are only one and if you add it in the middle at position three then also it becomes balanced and the number of operation is one so the insert can be done at any position and uh, we need to return only the minimum number of operations that is required to make the entire string bracketization valid and so the answer in this case is one if you have an empty string then you will return zero if you have a valid string then you will return a zero again so i think the problem is simple to understand uh, let's look at some observation to build our solution in the first observation at any point if you are uh, moving that means parsing from left to right one bracket after another then the number of opening brackets will always be greater than equals to the number of closing brackets this must be true for valid bracketization right otherwise we have to add an additional opening bracket if you have seen more number of closing brackets at any point of time than the count of opening bracket then definitely you need more opening bracket to the left like let's look at an example in this case when you parse from left to right at the third point you see that you have seen two closing braces but you have just seen a single opening bracket till now therefore you know that since the closing count here becomes two then uh, we need closing minus opening that means one bracket balancing on the left right so this we will term it as overbalancing. okay so this is the first observation in the second observation at the end the number of opening braces must be equals to the number of closing braces uh, because we need to balance an opening by a closing bracket so that makes sense otherwise if that does not happen and if the number of opening brackets are more than the number of closing brackets then we need to add more closing brackets at the end to balance out the number of opening brackets right so this is the second thing which is uh, if you have more number of opening bracket then at the end when you end then the opening and closing brackets do not match up and if opening brackets are more then you need to add the difference 2 minus 1 closing bracket at the end to make it a balanced parenthesis right so uh, the closing brackets needed in this case will be number of opening brackets at the end minus the number of closing brackets so that will be equals to one for this case right so these are the two observations and based on this we will see two approaches to solve it so first let's look at the intuitive stack approach in this case let's say that our given string is already shown okay and now i will follow the rule that whenever i see an opening bracket i will push it into the stack and whenever i see a closing bracket i will pop from the stack let's follow that so when I see an opening bracket, I will push into the stack. When I see a closing bracket, in order to balance, we will be popping out from the stack. Now, if I see another closing bracket and if there is no one present in the stack, that means no opening bracket present in the stack, then that means we are seeing an extra closing bracket. So this is creating an imbalance. And so we have to count such kind of closing bracket imbalances. So for that case, we have taken an imbalance counter and for this we will be assigning a zero initial value whenever i see a closing bracket and there is nobody uh, who can balance it that means there is no opening bracket to balance it then i will just increment it and i will skip this to the next character so when you have an opening bracket just append it another opening bracket just append it on the stack and when you see a closing bracket you pop it so when your string is done 
the stack must be empty because you want to balance all the opening brackets with the closing bracket so if you do a push for the opening bracket you have to do pop for the closing bracket so if you push and pop the brackets and if it is balanced then the stack must be empty but the stack is not empty you see there is an opening bracket still left and the number of opening brackets which are left in the stack needs to be balanced this means that you have more number of opening brackets so these many closing brackets have to be put at the end and therefore the size of the stack will also get added along with the imbalance count the imbalance count is accounting for the overbalanced closing bracket the stack size will account for the overbalanced opening brackets right so for finding out how many minimum brackets we need to insert that will be equals to the count of overbalanced uh, opening bracket plus the count of overbalanced closing bracket so opening imbalance plus closing imbalance in this case it will be 1 plus 1 which is equals to 2 okay so the answer in this case will be 2 so using this stack approach the time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity will be order of n as well let's now look at a better approach which is by using the counters so this is just based on the same logic that in order for a entire parenthesis to be balanced the count of opening and the closing bracket must be equal right so we will be maintaining just a single variable which is an opening bracket and whenever i see an opening bracket i will simply increment the counter and whenever i see a closing bracket then i will decrement the counter so a zero value means that everything is balanced till now right now if i see a closing bracket right and your opening value is already zero this means there is no opening bracket which can balance this closing bracket because the opening value is zero in such a scenario we will be maintaining a closing imbalance counter like the one we had previously uh, taken like the imbalance counter for the uh, closing bracket counts so in this case as well we will be taking closing imbalance and uh, increment it by one okay so now let's go to the next value it is an opening bracket so add one value another opening bracket add another one value you see a closing bracket decrease one value now at the end when you are done parsing from left to right then the opening value should be equals to zero because if everything is balanced then if you are incrementing plus one for opening bracket and decrementing minus one for the closing bracket it should be effectively zero but this is a non-zero value it is one this means there is one opening bracket which needs to be balanced by adding a closing bracket at the end so this is accounting for the overbalancing of opening bracket closing imbalance is accounting for the overbalancing of the closing uh, brackets okay so the minimum operations will have to balance both opening and closing braces and therefore we will add up both this one plus one and that becomes two right so this is how uh, we can implement the observations to solve it optimally in space complexity o1 and the time complexity will still be same as the stack which is order of n but this is more optimal so let us now look at the code implementation of both of these techniques if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number the first code is based on the counter uh, where i'm maintaining the opening counter overbalanced closing and then uh, we will just be iterating for each of the characters one by one and if i see an opening bracket just increment the opening uh, plus plus and then we, when i see that uh, we are seeing a closing bracket so line number eight is about closing bracket and our opening value is greater than zero this means a closing bracket can be balanced with uh, an opening bracket otherwise if we are seeing a closing bracket and the, and there are no opening brackets to the left that means opening value is zero then we will be adding it to the overbalanced closing uh, counter right and at the end we will just be adding the number of opening brackets to be balanced plus the number of closing brackets to be balanced okay so this is the o1 space complexity approach and the stack approach is this where we are maintaining an imbalance counter again for the uh, overbalancing of closing brackets we are taking a stack and again following the simple rule where we see an opening bracket we push it and uh, when we see a closing bracket we check if the stack is empty then nobody is present in the stack who can balance a currently seen closing bracket that means 
the imbalance counter has to be increased by one this imbalance counter is for counting the imbalances of closing bracket right otherwise if there is somebody in the stack some opening bracket then it will just be popped off and we will be ending up with the balancing so at the end we are again finding out with the stack size how many opening brackets are present which uh, needs a closing bracket at the end right so this is for the opening bracket imbalance and the imbalance counter is for the closing bracket imbalance so that's it this is the entire solution i hope you were able to understand it if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you